three, two, one. Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to Project Air. This is a video all about rockets. And specifically, it's the fourth and final part of the Space Shuttle series. You're about to watch three attempts uh, to get the shuttle airborne, but if you are one of these people who just want to see the final attempt where it sort of goes spectacularly wrong, then skip ahead to this timestamp just here. However, don't do that because uh, you'll probably find the whole video quite uh, entertaining and, uh, well, I hope you will anyway. Also, to any new viewers uh, out there, Hello, uh, nice to meet you, I'm James. This channel is called Project Air. It's all about building experimental projects and seeing if they work. Since the last episode, I built a new shuttle and built a mechanism onto this. And then I went out a few days ago into a field with some friends to try and test this for the very first time. Hello, welcome back to the garden. Um, I'm here with <laughs> Michael, uh, Joe and Lizzie. And we're gonna launch the rocket in any second now. So we're gonna set everything up and um, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you launch it directly upwards? Yeah, pretty much. I oh think we should God. fire it towards the ballot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so terrifying. <laughs> so this is a D-sized rocket engine and that goes in the main rocket, just like that. And this is the motor that goes in this aircraft, uh, aircraft, in this thing here. What's that called? The shuttle. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, <Steve. laughs> A momentary brain lapse there. So now we're putting the igniters in and those are going to be launched by this custom mm. launch controller. Wow. Should probably put the safety <laughs> hatch down. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, you've got an extra pallet there. Your left flank is exposed. Oh my god, Did you hear that, viewers? Someone's actually impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Predictions? What do you think? I think it's. What, what, wait, what are the options? I think Success. it will fire up in the air. Is, is it going to explode yeah. in the air? No. Will it land safely? Yeah. So safe you're, you're, you're predicting a, s a successful mission. I am. Joe? I'm not feeling confident on the detachment because I also had problems last time. <laughs> That's all ready. Do you want to come over here? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> well, that was a bit that was a bit disappointing. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened, yeah? Did not have enough thrust or something. Look at the hole it's made. Oh the other one didn't go off. Oh get back. <laughs> <laughs> the space shuttle engines which ignited, the booster didn't, which is why it didn't take off, obviously. So we're going to have to assess what happened and then try and refuel it, hopefully. Um, right, cut here. <laughs> okay, let me jump in here to explain what actually was going on, uh, or what I thought was going on. The ignition box that I'd made, I thought that hadn't got enough power to ignite both motors. So what I went and did was go and get a bigger four cell battery instead of a three cell battery, which was the one I was using before. And then I powered the circuit with that to see if I could ignite both motors. So here's what the result of that was. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh no! I was worried that it was set on fire then at the end. Yeah, yeah me too. I, I, th I thought I saw it set on fire. Slightly scorched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit disappointing to say the least. Uh, it was, yes, quite frustrating that we didn't get up in the air. However, the others did get a bit of a show. I'd actually got another rocket that uh, was a bit more conventional and I managed to launch that first time. Three, two, one. Oh 
Okay, so what was the actual problem then with this uh, rocket? Why didn't it get off the ground? Why did only one of the shuttle's engines ignite? Well, embarrassingly, it was actually due to a short circuit in the igniter of the main booster. Unfortunately, unbeknown to me at the time, I'd accidentally sort of pressed the two wires together when I'd been putting them into the rocket. I watched the footage back and this is how I discovered it. I, I saw that they were touching and yeah, clearly facepalm moment. I could have solved it right there and then, but that was okay because the rocket at that point in time, unlike it is now, was undamaged and ready for action. So earlier today, I took the rocket out again to a field in not ideal conditions to see if I could get it into the air. Let's take a look at what happened and then we'll assess, uh, yes, what unfolded. <laughs> Yes, obviously there were many things wrong with the design that contributed to it circling out of control and smashing into the ground. Yes, the first thing that springs to mind are the aerodynamics and having the center of pressure well below the center of gravity. I thought that I'd planned for this and that it would be okay with these massive fins on it and the center of gravity being relatively high up here, but clearly not. Let's just quickly jump into the footage and I'll just talk over what I think went wrong. So with the launch, I think there were a combination of vital factors that contributed to the downfall of this rocket. As you can see, it tilted off to the right straight away and sort of arced over and span out of control. And in my interpretation of this, um, I'd say that this is a classic example of an unstable rocket, <laughs> which I think is just stating the obvious there. So the center of pressure needs to be further back behind the center of gravity. I also think that the wacky aerodynamics of the, all of the different components probably contributed to uh, some problems. Perhaps even the square sides of the uh, shuttle itself made the center of pressure further forward than I anticipated, because there's these big sides and you know, you've got the, uh, the wind acting against this as it goes past. Absolutely, if you have some ideas of why this didn't work, then please comment down below. Tell me your suggestions for building some sort of new shuttle with a glider on it, and I might build it. So that's about it for this week. If you like this video, then please just watch another one. Uh, like this video and comment down below and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you so much for the support with this project, for bearing with me while I built it over many, many months. And uh, yes, the next ones will be quicker. We'll be doing lots more projects that are just single videos, getting back into that. I'm really looking forward to those. I hope you are too. And yes, I shall catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Dedicated to his craft. <laughs> I don't know what you said there.